Hello and welcome to Pershall College here in the lovely Worcestershire countryside for the third and final session of our three screenings of Pershall Virtual Jazz Festival 2020. If you've attended the festival in the past, you will know what a wonderful location we have here. It houses our five venues and has all the facilities we need for a weekend jazz. So without further ado, let's go over to the studio and join my colleagues in the Shades of Jazz together with Thomas Spatz Langham, because we've got a surprise guest, someone who keeps the festival up there on the top of all of the festivals in the UK and does such great works in supporting and performing jazz for us, namely the one and only Professor Keith Nichols. So don't miss that, it's a real treat. Now sit back and let's enjoy the final session. Uh, I'm required? Yeah? I've got, what? I've got, I've got to go and play drums? Again? Okay, excuse me, I'm, I'll have to go, I'll catch you later. Right, uh, probably at this time we ought to introduce you to the members of the orchestra. You just met John on saxophones and clarinet, or saxophone and clarinet. Uh, at the keyboard, the wonderful Mr. Rich Hughes, ladies and gentlemen. You can applaud in your living room, and we can probably just about hear you, but we're imagining that rapturous applause. Mr. Simon Smith is playing the double bass. Pause for applause. Thank you. On the trombone, the wonderful Dave Deakin, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hitting the screens. Thank you. And on the guitar, the uh, needs no introduction, so no. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll give him one anyway. Mr. Jim Douglas, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. But we... <laughs> And uh, not forgetting, of course, the man who's uh, put this whole event together just to sort of uh, give you a taste of what you've missed from the uh, personal jazz, jazz film. Only a small glimpse. You've missed us and you've missed uh, lots of other fantastic bands and lots of jazz musicians. But we're just giving you a little bit of a flavor of what we would have done had we have played for you live in front of you. But uh, we can't do that. So we're doing a, a, a video for you, which we hope you enjoy. Uh, so the, I'm sure he'll have a few words to say later, Graham, won't you? Possibly. Um, he'll be standing there with lots of microphones in front of him like uh, some South American president and he'll give you a speech. But uh, what about a round of applause for Mr. Graham Smith on the drums? Oh, is that it? <laughs> and uh, in case you don't know me, my name's Gary Wood and I'm on the trumpet and the flugel and a couple of vocals. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, boys and girls, uh, it's nice to be playing for you. I hope you're enjoying our music. Uh, it's nice to... Uh, see everybody again and uh, play in, 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 a, in a sort of live environment. None of us have played really for months. In fact, uh, it's really nice to reintroduce ourselves to our instruments that we haven't really played out for months either. So I uh, hope you forgive us, but uh, we're going to play another tune for you. It's called Once in a While.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're very fortunate within this band to have a wonderful guitar player who has been playing for many, many years on the jazz scene and has played with many, many great musicians over those years. And we're going to feature him now with a Jerome Kern, Kern Oscar Hammerstein tune, Long Ago and Far Away. It's Mr. Jim Douglas.
So what is it that makes the uh, Pershaw Festival the success uh, that it's been over the years? And um, well, I'm thinking about some of the bands that have played there over the years and also the different types of uh, themes and uh, styles of jazz. Over the years, we've managed to get things such as jug bands, washboard bands, at one end of the uh, kind of the jazz spectrum, playing the hokum and the blues side of the music, all the way forward to bands that are playing progressive jazz and uh, more modern stylings. I kind of sit somewhere in between about 1927 and 1931. I can't play anything else. But um, for me, the great enjoyment is the fact that you get to meet so many of the... Uh, musicians that you work with and some musicians that you don't work with also all of the uh, people and fans who come to the festival because it's all in one space uh, we get to meet everybody so it's a it's a good atmosphere uh, this year we should have had some wonderful uh, musicians and bands performing obviously that's going to happen next year now i have been told that everything is going to be carried over from next year uh so all the bands that were to appear this year will be here again. I'm very fortunate I work with Keith Nichols. Now, Keith always comes and performs certain concerts for us in his usual style. The amount of work that actually goes into organising these, along with Graham and other people, to kind of coordinate different themes each year. And Keith does a lot of arranging and sorts us all out and rehearses us and things like that. Uh, we've got a show which will be stomping at the Savoy. So it'll be all the bands like Benny Goodman and Chick Webb and Ella Fitzgerald, uh, things like that. There's also smaller bands, um, trios, uh, quartets. Uh, we have international musicians coming over from Chicago, from uh, New York, um, which is a, a, great, uh, a great thing for a festival, which initially, if you think of a jazz festival in Pershaw, you wouldn't think it would pull all these people in but it does because of its reputation um, I mentioned earlier about the local uh, musicians from the Midlands and the surrounding areas um, they're always involved this is a great thing sometimes they pop up in people's bands sometimes it's a local band playing and once again this is keeping it all very real in my view because uh, it means everybody's enjoying everybody's involved Long may it continue. Uh, I'm going to play you a song to finish off with. And this is a song I was thinking about what to play. Graham asked me what to play, and I've had this on a record. I still play records. And it's Billie Holiday's song, Laughing at Life. She recorded it in the 1930s, although there's an early recording from the late 20s, which I like. So, Laughing at Life. <laughs> Smile a while, laugh with such a happy smile, so the world can stop and smile with you. Why not grin, even when the others win? Smile and take it on the chin, when blue, don't mind the raindrops. Wait till the rain stops Now you'll lose your blues Laughing at life The road is lonely Now if you're only Just smile all your tears Laughing at life Well live for tomorrow Be happy today Just smile all your sorrows away Start now and cheer up Well those skies are gonna clear up While you lose your blues Laughing at life
tomorrow. Be happy today. Just smile all your sorrows away. Start now and cheer up. Well, those skies are gonna clear up. While you lose your blues, laughing at life, at life, at life, at life, you lose them all laughing at life. Okay. <laughs> Doris. Is God ready? Oh, Doris Day, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, um, this is a Doris Day tune, and uh, uh, it's called Once I Had a Secret Love. Uh, we're going to play this as a samba for you. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time now to feature our fantastic pianist, Mr. Rich Hughes. And uh, he's going to do something Latin for you. I think it's almost a rumba, and it's uh, a lovely tune called... For All We Know. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a blues for you now. Uh, a blues made famous by uh, Joe Williams, amongst others, with Count Basie. And uh, some of us, uh, while well, during lockdown, have probably had a bit of the blues. But uh, we all have the blues now and again. But so here's a tune called Every Day I Have the Blues. Every day, every day I have the blues Yes, every day, every day I have the blues Well, you see me worried, baby God, as you are, I hate to lose Yes, now nobody loved me Nobody seemed to care Yes, now nobody loved me Nobody seemed to care Speaking of bad luck and trouble Well, you know I had my share Yeah, I'm gonna pack my suitcase Moving on down the line Yeah, I'm gonna pack my suitcase Moving on down the line Well, there ain't nobody worrying And there ain't nobody crying John Hallow, yes. Every day I have the blues 
Well, you see me worried, baby, cause it's you I hate to lose. Yeah, now nobody love me, nobody seems to care. Yeah, now nobody love me, nobody seems to care. Speaking of bad luck and trouble, well, you know I have my share. I'm gonna pack my suitcase. Moon on that line. I'm gonna pack my suitcase. Moon on that line. Well, you ain't nobody worrying, and there ain't nobody crying. Oh, yeah. Every day I have the blues. I sure do. Thank you. Every day I have the blues. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time now to feature our wonderful trombone player, Mr. Dave Deakin, who has uh, chosen to play a tune that's become very uh, popular in this period of lockdown. And he says to me that, uh, he told me that he's been playing this tune in his street on different instruments for, for many times uh, during the lockdown. And I'm sure got a, a wonderful round of applause from all his neighbours. But this is, of course, uh, the Harold Arlen tune, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Mr. Dave Deakin. <laughs> Thank you. 
1929, when we were just about to go to prison. But anyway, there we are. So, we are unfortunately not going to have the 2020 festival. And uh, not only is the audience a bit sad about that, but the mu musicians are uh, really sad about it because we've, I don't think I've done a gig since, let's see, the uh, 10th of March. All right, I've been practicing. I've done everything in my power and on physical jerks and everything. So I'm actually back up to quite good shape, but I've got to now wait till 2021 before I can come and perform for you again. So uh, I want you all to really um, just keep your interest in jazz because us of the bands, uh, we really want to get back to, to entertain you again. And I do have a little thing of the stars that will be appearing at the 2021 festival. We have my old mates, Enrico Tommaso, trumpet, and uh, a lad that I've watched many years, uh, Thomas Spatz Langham. I call him the Lancashire Troubadour. Absolutely marvellous. I'll be looking forward to, to working with him again. And we've got some other people. Oh, yes, the lovely Bruce Adams. And we have Julian Stringle, uh, fantastic players, uh, Robert Fowler, and from Australia, Michael McQuaid. And uh, he's uh, very busy writing stuff for, for next year. The only downside with Michael is that uh, after the concert, he wants a lift home. Yeah, well, there we go. No laughter. Oh, there we are. And, uh, oh yes, uh, my old other great friend, Jeff Barnhart, of course. And uh, we are doing a little uh, tribute to silent film music. That's on the Saturday, where uh, most of you will remember silent films, of course. So we'll be doing that. And um, Jeff's got his own band playing as well. And from America also is uh, Andy Shum. Now, Andy Shum is a multi-instrumentalist, but he's a fabulous big spider bit player and nobody better than Andy Shum. And uh, lovely Roya Nolte, also singer coming from the USA. Um, that's the good people. But we do have Alan Barnes. Now, Alan, I've uh, known for, I think, 60 or 70 years now. and But I like to support him so that you can do things for the younger people. And uh, Alan, well, we do play now and again, once or twice in a century. And uh, life is not the same without the banter between Alan and I. So, you know, what else do we have? Oh, yes, Jamie Brownfield, wonderful trumpet player. So, and, uh, oh, yes, so I've just finished uh, to plug my theme shows, because I always do some theme shows. So on the Friday, we're going to do Stomping at the Savoy. And but it's, it's extra special because it's, there were two Savoys. There was a Savoy Ballroom in Chicago and a Savoy Ballroom in New York. And uh, you'll remember the, the New York one, uh, Stomping at the Savoy. So big band, it's all happening on the Friday night. And on the Sunday, we'll be doing a tribute to Prohibition. 
and I know I'm going to have terrible difficulty with the musicians with this prohibition lark. They didn't like it the first time round, so there we are. So queue up, queue up for the front row seats for 2021. So I have to finish with a fanfare. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to play a tune now. This is a ballad, and uh, when we were putting together our program, Jim made the suggestion that we should play this tune. And, it, which, and I'd never played it before, but it's a lovely tune. It's a, it's a standard by Carl Fisher, and it uh, speaks into this time. It says, we'll be together again.
we'll be together again. Well, folks, we've, sadly, we've come to the end of our third and final screening of what we hope you've enjoyed as our virtual festival this year. Tradition has it that as chairman, I usually thank everybody that's helped with the festival. But this year, there are two individuals who deserve a lot of thanks because they have had a short time in which to put all this together and get it out there for you. And that is Adam Parr, the sound engineer, and Ian Snape of Ritual Visuals, who's done all the photography. Thank you guys, you've done a wonderful job. And I hope that you will benefit from, very much from the hard work you've put in. All it remains for me to say is, if you've enjoyed a little snippet of what we do here at Pershaw, have a look at our website, www.pershawjazz.org.uk where all the details for next year's festival, the booking arrangements, accommodation guide, camping and caravanning booking are available. So here we go folks, next year's festival is the 13th and 14th, 15th of August 2021. Keep well, keep jazzing and keep music live. Thanks very much, thanks for watching. We've enjoyed ourselves. It's the first time some of us have played for six months. I know it showed, but it's great fun. Bye. Better go now. Switch it on.